どうもアメジンです。はい、スタート。So, you want to pass the JLPT, huh? You want resources? Books? Websites? Well,、uh, have I got a video for you? <laughs> I have a lot to share with you guys today, so let's get right into it. I've divided this video up into each of the resources here that I'm going to be talking about. I've included timestamps for each section in the description below for your convenience. Feel free to skip around. If you watch my videos, you know that I took the JLPT last summer and passed with relatively high scores. I studied religiously for it up until the day that I had to take the exam, and it paid off. I didn't get high scores just because I know Japanese. Of course, that's a factor as well, but <laughs> I studied my butt off. And I studied specifically for the test. I'm going to share my resources with you so that you too can pass with high scores on the test. First up is Wanikani. This is a web based vocabulary and kanji learning program that is useful for all levels of the JLPT. To pass the JLPT, you need to know a lot of vocabulary and a lot. Of kanji. Wani Kani does a great job of making sure you learn all of that over the time that you use it. The only downside to this program is that, well, it's not free and you might not enjoy the pace that it takes to reach higher levels. Plus, you can't really start on a level that's equivalent to your actual Japanese language proficiency level. Everyone starts at level one. So, if you're studying for the N2 or N1, you might find this program. Frustrating if you're starting from the beginning. Despite that, I still recommend it anyway. Link in the description below. Up next is a kind of controversial textbook series. Some people really hate it, some people really love it. I'm one of the people who really loves it. These were textbooks designed specifically for the Japanese language proficiency test. They have vocabulary, kanji, reading, listening, and grammar sections.、Uh, these books all for the N3, N2, and N1 levels. For the N4 and the N5, they did just come out with textbooks last year, but because the information for the N4 and N5 level is so basic, they condensed. All that information into one book for each level. The vocabulary and kanji books are particularly useful in that you see a lot of vocabulary and phrases that you wouldn't normally see in a textbook. And it's not like everything that's taught in those books is not useful. I am constantly surprised by how much I use and get out of these books. As for the reading and listening books, they might not be as useful, but any reading and listening practice can only be beneficial to you, so I also recommend those as well. As for the grammar book, I found that some of the grammar in there is definitely uncommon in everyday speech, but could definitely appear in a composition or reading passage. So, honestly, if you have another textbook or grammar book, that would be just fine. You can find these on Amazon or another place on the internet at a much freer price. Now, I'm not advocating piracy here. You know. I'm just saying, I know a guy who found the entire Soul Metal m e textbook series online for free. FYI. The same people who made the Soul Metal m e series also came out with a 500 practice questions book for all levels of the JLPT back in 2015. I bought this on Amazon and I highly recommend it. It's very helpful and convenient、um, with a bunch of questions, thorough explanations, and examples. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. On 
Another popular JLPT textbook series is the new Kanzen Master JLPT books, or in the Japanese, Shin Kanzen Master JLPT book series. I have the N1 grammar book here and the N2 reading book here. I just, I got these for free. Someone gave them to me. I didn't buy them. These books tend to be much drier and more like an actual textbook when compared to the Soul Matome series. Plus they don't have any books for the N5 level, at least none that I could find. Actually, I didn't use uh, any of, I didn't use this textbook series when I studied for the JLPT last summer, but it's another option. It's out there. You can check them out. These books, which were made by the Japan Foundation, are fantastic in that they mimic exactly the actual JLPT test format and design. You are given practice exam questions for each section of the exam as well as the answers. All you're getting with this is literally an exam. It doesn't teach anything, it doesn't really explain anything, just the exam. I highly recommend buying this just to get a feel of what like the actual JLPT feels like, how it's administered, stuff like that. You can also really familiarize yourself with the difficulty of the level that you want to test for. When you know what to expect on the exam, it makes test taking so much easier and stress-free. I highly recommend going through these practice, going through these practice exams at least a few days before you take the actual exam. That's exactly what I did and I gotta say it really helped me calm down and take away all that stress of, you know, not knowing what is it gonna be like and stuff like that. Again, you can buy these on Amazon, links in the description. The pattern betsu uh, te JLPT drill books are great for just drills. <laughs> Each book comes with a characters and vocabulary section, a grammar section, a reading section, and a listening section. In my Japanese university, we were given these textbooks to study for the JLPT. Um, I really didn't like them though. The format and the design was very dry and just boring and I much prefer the Soul Matome series. When I was preparing for the JLPT, however, last summer, I did utilize the listening section of this particular textbook. I have to say, I really do like their listening section a lot. It's very true to what the actual difficulty of the level of JLPT that I was going to take at the time. They have all levels except for N5. The JLPT used to only consist of N4 to N1, and then eventually they added the N5 level for an easier... They broke up N4 into N5 and then a new N4, essentially making it easier, I guess. And I think many of these textbook series that you'll find for specific JLPT study were made before this switch. So that's why you won't find a lot of N5 specific level textbooks. For this particular series, however, and for other textbook series that only have N4 to N1, if you are studying for the N5, you can pick the N4 level. It will be sufficient. It will be more than sufficient. There's a similar textbook series uh, called Gokaku Dekiru. Uh, they have several levels of the JLPT as well. I've never tried it. I haven't looked inside of it I can't say much about it. If you've used them before and have an opinion on them, please, please let me know This is yet another JLPT practice drill book it doesn't actually teach you anything, it just drills you off with questions similar to what you will find on your level of the JLPT. And these books, as their cover suggests, covers all sections of the JLPT exam. I've never actually used this. Again, this is something that, you know, someone gave me for free. You may find it helpful. Um, it's really only useful if you want to get accustomed to the difficulty of the level of JLPT that you will take. There are no reviews for it on Amazon, probably because no one really uses this. These were made by a Japanese company and have a lot of Japanese on the inside, um, which deters some people, apparently. I don't know why. Japanese would deter Japanese learners.
another test practice booklet series is the Nihongo Power Doriru series. They have two books for each level, uh, N3 to N1. One book covers grammar while the other book covers kanji and vocabulary together. There are no real explanations, but plenty of questions. The focus of these books is answering all of the questions, getting through the sections in a timely fashion. Literally every test section has a time recommendation on it. Probably can't see that, but it's there. It's really helpful if you need to improve your time management skills when you're taking a test. These were actually kind of hard to find on Amazon, especially uh, because they misspelled the word power. P-O-W-E-R. I'll put links in the description below. Again, this is just a series I own. This book was given to me, I've never actually used it. But some of you might find it helpful if you just need to drill questions and improve your time. This JLPT Speedmaster is just another JLPT textbook. There are books for reading, vocabulary, listening, and grammar. Like the last series, they focus on answering questions in a timely manner. One thing I do like about these textbooks is that they start off uh, really easy with small content and then they progressively get, you know, the content gets longer and larger and harder as a result. They only have books from the N3 level up. I haven't actually used these yet, but I do plan to use these when I take the N2 uh, coming up. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so those were all of the textbooks. I do have one online recommendation when it comes to studying Japanese grammar. I've actually talked about it before in a previous video, but it's definitely worth uh, recommending again, especially in this video. Boompro.com is a free web-based program where you can study JLPT uh, grammar specific to your whatever level you want to take. So far they've completed N5 level grammar to N3 level grammar. They're working on N2 and N1 right now and I believe N2 is like in its beta phase or whatever as of February 2018. You can do some N2 stuff but it's probably incomplete. One great point about this program is that it is based on spaced repetition learning. It actually forces you to take time to study this material. New terms and grammar structures that you just learned or that you have a hard time remembering appear more often in your study queue than stuff you've learned a month ago and stuff you already know very well. I can't recommend this program enough, especially for studying for the JLPT. Go and use it every day up until even after taking the exam. Well, that's it, y'all. Please let me know what you thought of all the resources, whether you've used them, whether you like them or hate them. Even if I didn't mention a particular resource, a textbook or a website, even apps, let me know what you guys use, if you're using anything at all. I wanna hear your voices and what you guys think. Otherwise, that's it, y'all. Bye-bye. Peace, guys.